Hi, my name is Manu Alikani. I am Dean and Professor at CITOR Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to another session of CITOR channel. The topic of today's discussion is two couple system in regard to flexible wires. <music> If you remember from previous session, we discussed the two couple system in rigid wires. If we have two brackets similar weight, where they placed in with the similar height on the adjacent teeth, uh, if we put a rigid wire between them, there shouldn't be any force and moment in the system. But if we apply a bend in the wire, a V bend, and the V bend is a stand equal distance from adjacent bracket two moments will appear in the system that they are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. There would be no force in our system. Depends on the direction of the V-band, the direction of those moments would be different. But one rule applies, the direction of the moments always are toward the mouth of the V-band. We also discuss if that we have an asymmetrical V-band, means that we put the V-band closer to one of the brackets, that bracket will receive the larger moment, while the bracket that is farther from the V-band receives the smaller moment. Uh, just one clinical tip, if you want to uh, quickly discover the direction of the forces and moments that appear in the system, if you have a rigid wire, uh, the moments goes toward the mouth of the V-band. Now one of them is larger, one of them is a smaller. There should be forces in your system that are producing a couple, that that couple produce a moment in the same direction as the smaller moment in your system. In that way, they can produce the equilibrium. Uh, as you can see in the left side, the smaller moment would be M2. Both moments are going toward the mouth of the V-band, and therefore there should be a forces uh, that go with the same direction of M2, and M2 is counterclockwise, therefore the couple should be producing a moment counterclockwise. In the right side of the picture, uh, again you can see that there would be a smaller moment, uh, M2, but this smaller moment is clockwise. Therefore, the couple that appear in your system should be producing a moment clockwise, and that way you can quickly discover the direction of forces. This discussion is correct about the rigid wire. What happens if we have a flexible wire? Now, again, assume we have two brackets equal in width and similar in height, and uh, we place these two brackets and they don't have any angulation with horizon means there is no angle of activation if we put a piece of wire between them again there will be no force and moment in the system but what happens if these brackets are angulated in compared with horizon of course their angle of activation will appear and a couple will appear we will not be able to engage very rigid wire in this bracket because of the angulation Therefore, uh, if you are putting a wire between these two uh, brackets, it would be more flexible wire. This flexible wire depends on the angulation of the bracket will adopt a bend. If the angulation of the bracket in both sides is equal, the angle of activation would be the same, the magnitude of the couple would be the same, and therefore the moment would be the same. In that case, this bend that the wire adopt act as a central v-band the only difference is here wire wants to flatten itself back to the original position therefore the direction of the moments would be opposite to direction of what we see in the rigid wire in the rigid wires the moment goes inside the mouth of the v-band with the flexible wires the moments goes outside of the mouth of the v-band but the magnitude is the same and again the direction of the moments is opposite what happens if the angulation of one bracket is more than the other? Yes, the flexible wire again adopt the shape of the band and this band would be closer to the bracket with the larger angulation. That bracket have a larger angle of activation, larger couple, larger moment, while the other bracket that is farther away from this band would be a smaller moment, a smaller angle of activation, and therefore you have an asymmetrical v-band in the system in response to this asymmetrical v-band vertical forces appear if you remember from the rigid discussion now these forces should produce a couple that couple produce a moment that help the smaller moment in the system 
therefore should be extrusion force on the left side and intrusion force on the right side in that way we can produce equilibrium in our system so flexible wire and rigid wire when they adopt a bend or we are inducing a bend they act similarly means that the principles of the moment and the forces are the same and equilibrium should be established however with the flexible wires the direction of forces and moments is opposite of what we are seeing with the rigid wire and that's very important when you are starting to treat your patients two couple systems whether we are using it in the rigid wire or flexible wires have a specific characteristic today i like to just touch on one important characteristic and that's the height of the v-band if we are having a rigid wire and we are putting a band depends on how strong we put the band the magnitude of the forces and moment would be different the direction stays the same just the magnitude would be different so if i'm putting a strong band the height of the v-band would be larger therefore the magnitude of the moment and forces in the system would be larger on the other hand with the flexible wire if the angulation of the bracket on adjacent teeth is not that much the amount of the bend in flexible wire will not be that much in another word the height of the v-band would be a smaller therefore the magnitude of forces and moment would be a smaller on the other hand if the angulation of the brackets are higher the amount of the bend in the flexible wire that will be induced would be larger therefore the magnitude of the moment and forces would be larger however again similar to rigid wire uh, the direction of the forces and moment stays the same i hope you enjoyed uh, this session of sitor channel if you have not subscribed to our channel yet please go ahead and subscribe and please don't forget to press the like button thank you so much